Hi, I'm Chris with Davis Instruments. Thank you for joining us. Today we're going to take a walk through the Davis EnviroMonitor app. Let's get started. Thank you for your interest in Davis Instruments EnviroMonitor. EnviroMonitor is our app for installing and managing the gateway, nodes, and sensors in your field. The app is available for download on the Apple Store for iPhones and on the Google Play Store if you prefer an Android device. Let's get started by launching the EnviroMonitor app. After launch, you'll have the option to create an account by clicking the Sign Up option. If you already have an account, you can proceed with logging in. Your home page displays a list of all the gateways that you own or those gateways that have been shared with you. When you select a gateway, you can see all of the nodes in that gateway's network. Going one level further, you can see a list of the sensors that are connected to each node. You can further drill down to an individual sensor and get uh, specific information about that sensor including the wiring diagram. You can navigate back to your home screen by using the back in the upper left. You'll notice that you have a menu across the top that will show you exactly where you are in the network from the sensor back to the node back to the gateway and back to your home screen. Now that we are back at the home screen we can add a new gateway. Let's click the add gateway button. EnviroMonitor has been designed to give you all of the instructions you need to add the gateway directly from the app. First, we will connect the red wire to the matching battery terminal. Second, connect the square 4-pin connected to the board. The blue blinking light shows that we are powered. Click Next. Right now our phone has established a Bluetooth connection with the gateway. Let's connect. After connecting and initializing the gateway on our network, you can add a gateway name. After naming the gateway, you set the location for the gateway. You can zoom in and drag and drop the pin to specifically where you want the gateway to be placed. Click Next. We have three service plan levels available. There's a 5-minute service plan, a 15-minute service plan, and a 60-minute plan. We'll select the 15-minute plan and click Next. Please read the terms and conditions. You can select the Send to Email, in the upper right hand corner if you wish to review them separately and agree. And that is it. The gateway is installed. To further customize your EnviroMonitor installation, you can take a photo that is specific to the gateway. Congrats! You are now in this gateway. Now back at the home screen you can see that the EnviroMonitor gateway that we just created is available. By selecting that EnviroMonitor gateway, let's start by tapping plus. You'll be prompted to add a node or a weather station. We will start with a weather station. After selecting the add a weather station option, you can select from the list of weather stations that are pre-configured for the sensor suites that might be added to your gateway. Let's select the 6820C Grow Weather. EnviroMonitor will ask us to confirm that we have a Bluetooth connection with the gateway. EnviroMonitor will instruct your installer where to install the cable. And that is it. Click Next. Now your weather station is connected to your EnviroMonitor gateway. Press Finished. After adding the weather station, we can continue to build out our system by adding nodes. Click the plus. Now EnviroMonitor will guide you through the installation of a node. We'll start with the installation of the lithium ion battery and inserting the 4D cells as shown and connect the red and black wire to the board. Click Next. 
you'll establish a Bluetooth width connection and connect. Once we've connected the EnviroMonitor node to this gateway, we can name the node and choose a location similar to the gateway. Now this node is paired with the gateway and added to that system. You can take a photo and proceed. After we add the node to the EnviroMonitor system, we can proceed with adding sensors to that node. Start by pressing Add Sensor. We have many sensors available to add to the nodes. Menu starts with flow meter, fluid sensor, leaf wetness, pressure sensor, pressure switchers, rain, and soil moisture. Let's start by adding a soil moisture probe. There's a second menu that shows a number of different sensors available for the soil moisture probes. We'll do a drill and drop 120 centimeter. First, you'll need to connect to your node via the Bluetooth. The EnviroMonitor app has all of the wiring diagrams built in for the multiple sensors that we accommodate. For this probe, the gray wire goes in port 2, the green wire goes in port 3, and the red wire goes in port 5. After wiring, click Next. EnviroMonitor will prompt you to plug the cable into port 1. Click Next. Now the soil moisture probe has been added to our node. Click Finished. Let's go back to the gateway. As you can see, in our gateway we have the EnviroMonitor node and the Davis Instruments Grow Weather Station. Going into the EM node, we can see that we have one Centec soil moisture probe added to port one of the node. From here, you can add additional sensors by following the same process that we did with adding the Centec by clicking Add Sensor and continuing from this point. Now back at your EnviroMonitor home screen, let's talk about how to share gateways. First, enter a gateway. In order to share this view, click the menu and scroll down to Share Gateway. You'll see a list of all users this gateway has been shared with. At the top of the list is the owner and each user. There are view and edit privileges for a gateway. Edit privileges allow a user to edit the user list, add and delete nodes, and add and delete sensors. Let's add a user. Simply enter the email address, select View or Edit Privileges, and click Save. The user has been invited to your gateway. In order to edit the user list, click Edit. You can scroll down to the user, select Change Privileges, or Delete. That is how you share a gateway. Thank you for your interest in Davis Instruments EnviroMonitor.